Imagine you're living in the times of our ancient ancestors, facing dangerous predators like giant bears and saber-toothed cats. To survive, your brain has evolved an early warning detection system, often known as a fight or flight response, or fight, flight, or freeze. And the part of your brain that is most responsible for this triggering system is known as the amygdala. Amygdala. And where do we find the amygdala? Well, the amygdala is a structure deep within our temporal lobes, which is on the side of the head. So if I take my temporal lobe and kind of open it up, I would see my amygdala. Now, fast forward to today. Our stressors look very different than a bear trying to kill me. I might be stuck in traffic, I have a deadline due for work, or an example for today, I get kind of an ambiguous text from my boss that we need to talk. The problem is that my brain responds as if this text message is actually some sort of danger sending my body into a fight or flight response. And this is the amygdala hijack. It's a strong, overwhelming emotional or neurologic response that is absolutely immediate, but it's also out of proportion to the actual cause. So in this video, we're gonna talk about all the mechanisms within the brain that lead to the amygdala hijack. So let's start with kind of a non-threatening scenario about how our brain should react, but of course it doesn't. So we get this text from our boss that we need to talk, okay? So what happens in the brain? Well, this message is received by our eye, right? Light bounces off the phone into our eye. This light is gonna change into what we call action potentials, right, through a process called transduction. And the action potentials are gonna travel through the optic nerve, and they're gonna synapse with a part of the brain called the, do we know the structure is? It's the kind of relay center in the brain. This is called the thalamus, okay? It's like the post office. All the information gets sent there, and then the thalamus kind of sends it out, right? And because the information is from our eye, it's going to relay to a part of our brain that takes information in from our eyes to make meaning. And it's gonna synapse with the back of the brain called the visual cortex, okay? The visual cortex. And this is where we start to process and make meaning of what we see, right? So when I see this text message that we need to talk, this is the cortex, the wrinkled layer of the brain, right? That's gonna say, okay, what does the word we mean, right? What is the tone of this text, okay? but it's also gonna relay with other messages. It's gonna to talk to um, things like the limbic system, right? So we're gonna kind of synapse with our limbic system. The limbic system is this area within the brain that deals with emotions, memories, and drive. So I have to know who sent me this text. So it might talk to, or it might interact with, a part of the brain called the hippocampus, okay? This part of the brain right here hippocampus, helps form memory. So it helps me do, know, um, have I seen this text before? Do I know who this person is, right? And it's also, adding my S there, it's going to talk to and synapse with what? Our amygdala, right? This is our early detection system, and the amygdala is gonna make me feel anxious, right? Nobody wants a text from their boss that says, we need to talk, but guess what? We have a part of our brain to keep the amygdala in check. Do we know what that part's called right here in purple? This is called the prefrontal, the prefrontal what? The prefrontal cortex, okay? This is the logical, rational center of the brain that's supposed to regulate my emotion. So when I feel nervous about this text, this is the part of my brain that's supposed to say, okay, let's not overthink, let's not jump to conclusions, let's send a nice text back saying, I'll see you on Monday, right? And we just go throughout our day until we see our boss again. This is what's supposed to happen. Now, does it happen? Probably not. Here's the amygdala hijack. Information is received by the eye. It synapses with the thalamus. But instead of going to the visual cortex, which it will, it actually has a direct pathway okay, to our amygdala. Meaning, when it senses danger, the signal is sent to our amygdala, and we immediately react, right? Before we're even consciously aware or get to make sense of what happened, right? In other words, if something's thrown at me, I might duck out of the way, that's my amygdala, without me aware of what actually was thrown at me, right? So milliseconds before it goes to the cortex, my amygdala goes into action saying, danger, danger, danger. Now, at the same time, when the amygdala takes over, okay, during a hijack, it's actually going to block or inhibit the prefrontal cortex. Right, so the part of the brain that's supposed to regulate our emotions and be logical, rational, is shut down during an amygdala hijack. And when it is hijacked, the amygdala is gonna start this cascade of you know, different emotions and different physiological events that's gonna cause this kind of fight, flight, or freeze response. So the amygdala 
is going to signal parts of the brain like the hypothalamus, okay? And then what's gonna happen is it's gonna send all the information down through our pons, through our medulla, right? Through our brainstem, and it's gonna activate, okay, ready for this? A part of our nervous system called the sympathetic, what's it called? The sympathetic nervous system, okay? This is gonna set the motion for all these organs and all these glands to start kind of being this fight or flight response. So for example, it's gonna cause your, right here, our adrenal glands to release adrenaline and epinephrine, right? And if it, the stress sustains, it's gonna be cortisol. It's gonna cause our heart to start beating faster to pump blood to my hands so I can run or to my feet so I can uh, run faster. It's going to help dilate my pupils so I can center in on the danger and uh, also help see my peripheral vision. It's going to expand my lungs so I can breathe better. It's going to uh, boost my energy by releasing glucose, sugar into my blood, which gives me that extra boost of energy. And it's also gonna shut down my digestive system, right? Because I don't need to digest my food in danger. So during the amygdala hijack, we have all of this information, right? Because of our sympathetic nervous system, going to all of our organs and our glands saying, it's time to get into the fight or flight mode, shutting down the prefrontal cortex. And because my prefrontal cortex is shut down, I'm not gonna respond to this text in a logical, calm, rational way. I'm going to jump to conclusions, right? I'm going to be defensive, right? That I do something wrong. I'm gonna act very emotional as opposed to logical. Now, what leads to amygdala hijack? Things like um, not sleeping, sleep deprivation could trigger it. It could be stress. It could be past trauma. There's a lot of reasons why people's amygdalas are hypersensitive.